hello everyone welcome back to the channel so today we are going to create an AI application that will be able to detect the objects using the device camera you may have seen these kind of applications on the internet but today we are going to learn how we create them so if you are new to the channel subscribe it and press that bell icon so you will be notified whenever a new video is uploaded so this is the part one of this series in which we will do the setup of our project and also start the camera stream so we can get those images and pass to the AI model so let's start okay so here you can see that I have my VS code and the real device on the screen so let's first create a project so let's just simply create a AI object detector so this is our project and let's create it so it may take some time to create so let's wait for a few seconds okay so the project is created now let's quickly remove all these comments and the properties we don't need and also remove this home page class and this one too so just select it and remove okay so after removing everything we have this code remaining so now we need to set up our project so we can use the camera and also make all the necessary changes required for the AI so first of all we need to go to the Android as you know that I am running on Windows so I cannot do all the setup for the iOS but I will tell you how to do this so in the Android go to app build out gradle and in here you need to make changes to the compile SDK version and change it to 33 and after that go to the minimum SDK and change it to 23 and also change the target SDK to 33 save it and now you can close this file and go to source main and in here go to Android manifest and after this project you need to paste the permission for the camera so we need this permission to access the camera in our application so you can either pause the video and copy it or you can get this permission from the internet and then just paste it and save the file and after that go to the build out gradle of our app and in here change this Kotlin version to 7 1.7.20 and then just save it and now you can close this one and our setup is done and now we need to install some packages in our application so for the state management I will be using getx and for handling the camera and storage permission I will be using permission handler and to use the camera widget in our application we will be using the camera so there are two ways to install packages one is to just copy this text from here and go to your pub spec and paste it and the other one is using the VS code so I will be going with the VS code way and in here I will type the name of the packages and after that I will just press enter so I have entered all three packages and then enter so these packages will be downloaded and added to my pub spec.yml okay so here is a problem that okay so I did a mistake here I need to say get camera and permission handler so instead of that comma I used a full stop so it was giving me that error but now it will be fixed okay so the packages are downloaded and let's wait for a few seconds okay everything is done we can confirm them by going to pubspec.yml and here you can see we have all three packages okay so everything is done let's go to our lib and in here let me create a new folder for the controller as we are using getx so we will be using the controllers and after that I will be creating an other folder named views so in the controller I will create a scan controller dot dot and in here I will create a new class which will be scan controller which extends our getx controller okay so after that go to the views and let's create a new file here which will be our camera view dot dot 
and let's create a stateless widget here so it will be camera view and in here let's return a scaffold and in this scaffold in the body i will be returning a container for now okay so it is done let's go to our scan controller and in here we need to set up our camera first so let's create a new variable late camera controller camera controller so as this is late we will initialize it later and after that let's create a new variable which is is camera initialized is equal to false dot obs so it is observable and after that let's also create a new list of our cameras so it will be a list of camera description and cameras so what is the camera description it will this list will contain all the cameras available on your device which may be one two three four so after that let's also create a new method which will be our init camera and which will be an asynchronous method so in here first of all we need to get the permission from the user so we can access the camera for that i will be using if await permission dot camera dot request dot is granted so if the permission is granted only then we want to process otherwise i will print permission denied okay so if the permission is granted what we want to do let's just say cameras is equal to await available cameras so as i just told you it will get all the cameras of your device and save it in the cameras list and after that we need to say camera controller dot is equal to await camera controller and in here we need to pass two things one is the description and the other is resolution preset so for the resolution i will be passing ma maximum and for the description i will be passing the camera i will be using so in the list of cameras i will be using zero so zero means the rear camera and the one means the front camera so i will be using the rear camera but you can change the camera if you want let's just say camera controller dot initialize so the camera will be initialized and after that we want to say that is camera controller initialized and set it to true okay the setup of our camera is done now let's go to our camera view and in here simply wrap this container with a stream builder but instead of stream builder we will be using the getx get builder so remove this stream and context and snapshot also and set your controller here so instead of this object pass the scan controller and to initialize the controller use the init property and say scan controller here and we are okay so in here as you can see that we are returning a container so we need to return the actual camera so if the controller dot is camera controller initialized dot value so that if the value is true we want to return a camera preview which requires a controller dot camera controller else we want to return a container so instead of this container i will be returning a loading preview text which will be inside of a center widget so let's wrap it with a center widget okay so everything is done let's just save it but before that uh, let's also update as we are using a get builder so we need to use this update widget okay so here you can see our application is running but nothing is on the screen right now because we need to initialize or execute this method on the starting of our widget so let's create a new init state sorry on init and in here we need to call this init camera and just save it and along with this init 
we need to dispose it. So on the dispose of this widget, we want to say camera controller dot um, dispose. So this controller will be disposed when we exit this widget. And also we forgot to add one thing which is our home and in here we need to pass the camera view and just save it and here you can see that it is requesting for the permission so if we allow it we need to add the permission for audio also so just allow and here you can see that we have our camera view which you can see this is our camera view here so we have successfully set up our project and the camera for the stream of images so in the next video we will get the images from this camera and pass it to the ai model so it can detect so if you like this video press that like button and subscribe to the channel for more see you in the next one till that allah is